In this we are going to see the part 3 MCQ video of head and neck. Here we are seeing the interior of the cranial cavity or cranial fossa. Here along with the meninges we are seeing. So this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid and this is one as the pituitary area and here is the greater wing of sphenoid. Okay right. Lesser wing, greater wing and this is a petrous bone and this is the clivus where the base is sphenoid and the base is occiput they join. Okay and then here is the meninges. Dural folds are seen here. So important MCQ, the sinus, venous sinus lies on the lesser wing of sphenoid is superior petrous, sphenoparietal sinus. This is called sphenoparietal and uh, here is the, this drains one of the tributary of the cavernous sinus and here you will see your optic nerve which lies in the optic canal along with the ophthalmic artery, very important MCQ. And then third is the pituitary fossa is here, you can see the pituitary and the stalk only is coming out, it is covered by the diaphragm ocelli. And here is the area called cavernous sinus. Okay, it is covered on the roof by the endomeningeal layer and the down by the endosteal layer of the dural fold. And then uh, here is a foramen magnum, you can see. <coughs> so the cavernous sinus, uh, and here is the uh, frontal crest and the crystal gallery, where is the attachment for the fox cerebrae. Very important MCQ. And here uh, the sphenoparietal sinus repeatedly asked for MCQ and another one is the impressions for the middle meningeal vessels. So middle meningeal vessels very important. So the this outer side we have the terion. Terion is where the four bones meet no? that only the anterior division of middle meningeal artery is going. So the terion everybody knows that that is a gunshot point. Why it is called gunshot point because the middle meningeal artery is going here. So if you shoot from here it will rupture and there will be a formation of extra dural hematoma over here which will compress the cerebrum. Cerebrum is your brain is here. So it will compress the motor cortex of the cerebrum which involves in the uh, movement of your body. So the that side uh, movement, uh, the, for example if this is the right side, left side movement will be not will not be there. Cavernous sinus MCQs, the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus, nerves present in the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus are ophthalmic division, um, axillary division and oculomotor trochlear, four nerves, ophthalmic, oculomotor, trochlear and ophthalmic division of trigeminal and then maxillary division of trigeminal. So four nerves, they form the lateral wall and the me medial wall you will be having the pituitary fossa as well as the sphenoid lar sinus and the roof is lined by the meningeal layer and the floor is lined by the endosteal layer in the floor you can see the internal carotid artery as well as the infrolateral to the internal carotid artery you can see the abducens nerve don't keep put the abducens nerve this side and then the roof you can see the internal carotid artery in the roof also because it pierces the roof and comes out so very important relations for the mcq this is a very important mcq internal carotid artery and inferolateral to that you have the abducens nerve and here is your dual venous folds fox cerebrae attachment where they may ask frontal crest to internal occipital protuberance and the sinus is related to our superior sagittal and the inferior sagittal sinus and uh, here is the fox cerebelli between the two cerebellum occipital sinus is separated here and this is the cavernous sinus. The cavernous sinus already we finished. That's all the important topics for head and neck. And the next one is. This is a crystal gallery, this is the cranial cavity. Lot of MCQs are there inside the cranial cavity. Okay, first one is this is the cribriform plate of ethmoid, and here you have the alpha nerves are coming out. Alpha rootlets are many, that's why it is called as cribriform. Cribriform is sieve like, and uh, here between the frontal crest and the cribriform plate, frontal crest and the crystal gallery, there is a small foramen that is called as foramen cecum. 
uh, usually nothing will be there sometimes emissary veins pass through that and then optic canal mcq is on what structures inside the optic canal optic nerve and ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery is initially lateral and then it will cross the superiorly optic nerve and then goes medially and then the lesser wing of the sphenoid the sphenoparietal sinus lies on the lesser wing of sphenoid and lesser wing of sphenoid gives attachment to levator palpebrae superioris very important the next one is levator palpebrae superioris and inside the orbit mcq that we will see okay and here is the cella tarsica this is the site of the pituitary and then uh, here is the foramen magnum uh, oval oval structures four structures m a l e M for mandibular nerve, A for accessory meningeal artery, L for lesser petrosal nerve and E for emissary vein. And then this is uh, the spinosum. Spinosum transmits nerve is spinosum and the middle meningeal artery. Middle meningeal artery only goes here. This is the area. That side it forms the theria. So anterior division of middle meningeal artery is more prone for rupture because of the gunshot wound. Okay and here a uh, nerve is spinosum is the one which is coming along with the nerve to medial terroir from the trunk of the mandibular nerve from the trunk means from the main stem of the nerve because before dividing into branches so very important mcq now to nerve is spinosum or meningeal branch of mandibular nerve this is the foramen lazerum lazerum is here this depression is called foramen lazerum and lazerum through the lazerum only the anterior wall you have the internal carotid artery comes out and then this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. The superior margin of the petrous is called tegment tympani. This is MCQ. Then beneath that only you will be having the ear, middle ear and the inner ear. And then if you see this foramen on the petrous posterior surface. Here internal acoustic meatus. Look at this. This one is internal acoustic meatus. The internal acoustic meatus transmits 7th nerve facial nerve, 8th nerve vestibular cochlear nerve and the labyrinthine vessel, 3 structures. And then the next one is jugular foramen. Jugular foramen, can you see the transverse sinus goes here and continues as sigmoida and ends and forms a jugular vein here, internal jugular vein. So, inter 3 compartments. The first compartment you have the inferior petrosal sinus here and the second compartment you have the 9, 10, 11 cranial nerves and the last compartment you have the formation of the internal jugular vein. Three compartments are here. <coughs> Next is uh, the transverse sinus is here. The transverse sinus, right transverse sinus is the continuation of the superior sagittal sinus but the left transverse sinus is formed by inferior sagittal sinus joins with the great vein cerebral vein of gallon and forms the straight sinus the straight sinus continues as left transverse sinus very important mcq again i repeat inferior sagittal sinus joins with the great cerebral vein of gallon and forms the straight sinus which is lying in where the uh, fox cerebrae joins with the tentorium cerebral line. in that area only you have the straight sinus that straight sinus continues as left transverse sinus the left transverse sinus, sigmoid sinus and the internal vein formation and this is called internal occipital crest where your fox cerebelli is attached inside that you will be having the occipital sinus so this is about the cranial posa this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid and this is the greater wing of the sphenoid okay greater wing of the sphenoid has some parts that is one part is the cranial part or cerebral part another one is the orbital part another one is the which part forming the teria on that uh, part okay and then the last one is the inferior part or infratemporal part you can see uh, uh, this is the foramen rotundum through that only your maxillary nerve passes through foramen rotundum very important structure foramen magnum magnum via the magnum you have the lower part of the pons middle oblongata and the spinal cord passes through along with the spinal arteries and membrana tectoria and longitudinal ligaments everything is passing through this foramen magnum only and uh, at least minimum four or five structures you have tried vertebral artery that's all about the second third video